Striper is an American Christian glam metal band from Orange County, California. The group's lineup consists of Michael Sweet, Oz Fox, Tim Gaines, and Robert Sweet. In 2004, Gaines left the band and was replaced by Tracy Ferry but rejoined in 2009. Formed in 1983 as Rog's Regime, the band soon changed their musical message to reflect their Christian beliefs, and the band's name was also changed to Striper. They went on to become the first overtly Christian heavy metal band to gain acceptance in the mainstream. In 1983, they signed with major label Enigma Records and released their debut album The Yellow and Black Attack. In the mid-1980s, Striper enjoyed their most successful period beginning with the release of To Hell with the Devil, which achieved platinum sales status. Striper went on to release two more gold albums before breaking up in 1992. In 2003, Striper came out of retirement for a reunion tour and subsequently signed a multi-album contract with Big Three Records in 2005. In 2013 they signed a multi-album deal with Frontiers Records, and have released an EP, Second Coming, which includes 14 re-recorded songs from their first three albums and an album, No More Hell to Pay, released on November 5, 2013. Fallen has been released on October 16, 2015. Origin of name, the name Striper derives from the King James Version of the Bible. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. The reference, Isaiah 53 5, is frequently included as part of their logo. Striper's drummer, Robert Sweet, also created a backronym for their name, Salvation Through Redemption, Yielding Peace, Encouragement and Righteousness. History. Equals Foundation and Mainstream Success equals, the Sweet Brothers became Christians in 1975, but began to pull away from their faith. The Sweet Brothers rejoined the church after their friend Kenny Metcalf persuaded them to do so. Inspired by bands such as Van Halen, but distressed by their message, they sought to form a band that would extol their worldview and beliefs. Striper was originally known as Rog's Regime and composed of brothers Michael Sweet on lead vocals and lead guitar and Robert Sweet on drums while Eric Johnson played bass, rounding out the trio. They were originally a trio. Oz Fox eventually joined the band. Before Oz Fox joined the band, a number of guitarists almost joined Rog's Regime, including Doug Aldridge and C.C. DeVille. The name Striper was adopted when bassist Tim Gaines joined the band though the label urged the band to change its name. The Bible scripture, from a passage in Isaiah 53 5, by his stripes we are healed became part of the band's logo. Shortly afterward, they released the EP The Yellow and Black Attack on July 21, 1984. During this period, Striper opened for bands like Rat and Bon Jovi, leading some fans and critics to claim that they were not a true Christian band. Striper's first full-length album, Soldiers Under Command, released on May 15, 1985, was the band's first gold record. Capitalizing on this unexpected success, and in an attempt to make up for the EP's extremely limited release, their record label Enigma re-released The Yellow and Black Attack on August 10, 1986 with two new tracks and new cover art. Striper's third album, To Hell with the Devil, was released on October 24, 1986 and went platinum after spending three months on Billboard's album charts, eventually selling more than two million copies. In addition to being Striper's most successful record, it was both the first contemporary Christian music and Christian metal album to achieve this feat. Calling on You, Free, and Honestly were hugely popular MTV hits in 1987 a Euro so much so, that Free, and Honestly, both became most requested songs on the show Dial MTV. They were also the second Christian band to get any airplay on MTV, DeGamo and Key having been the first with their song 666. Honestly is Striper's highest charting song, peaking at number 23 on the top 40 charts. The album received a Grammy Award nomination. Michael Sweet is the band's primary songwriter and has written most of the band's material throughout the years. He is also currently the band's producer. Bassist Tim Gaines did not participate in the recording of To Hell with the Devil, 
and for a short period of time prior to the release of the record he was replaced by Matt Hurick. Hurick was not with the band more than a month, although he was outfitted with a yellow and black striped bass and a racing costume. Brad Cobb played bass on the album. However, when the promotional photos for the album were being shot, Gaines returned to the band and subsequently participated in its successful world tour. In 1987 the band headlined the Dynamo Open Air Festival in the Netherlands. There is one to hell with the devil promotional photo of the band with Matt Hurick that was used in print advertisements. Prior to his time in Striper, Hurick was in Leather Wolf. In 1989 he performed with his Striper bass in the group Divine Right, which featured Kevin Brando on lead vocals and guitar. In the summer of 1986, Kenny Metcalf left touring with Striper and Brent Jeffers replaced Kenny Metcalf on keyboards and toured with Striper until 1990. Striper's fourth album, In God We Trust, released on June 28, 1988, also went gold, and the song Always There For You briefly entered the lower levels of the pop charts, peaking at no 71 euros despite it being another massive hit on MTV. However, the sound of the album was more pop-oriented than previous releases and a number of critics, as well as Striper fans, criticized the record for being overproduced. In addition, the image of the band was moving even closer to the glam metal look of the era, giving fans something else to criticize. These factors led to lower sales, and the album spent only five weeks charting on Billboard. The second single and video, I Believe in You peaked at number 88 and a third single Keep the Fire Burning failed to chart. As with the previous album, Tim Gaines did not participate in the recording but later rejoined the group for another world tour. In God We Trust garnered two GMA Dove Awards for Hard Music Album, and Hard Music Song for the title track. Equals Decline, Breakup and Solo Projects Equals, on August 21, 1990, Striper released the controversial album Against the Law which drastically changed the band's image and lyrical message. While their earlier albums all had yellow and black colors in the covers and the lyrics spoke of God and salvation, Against the Law featured the band with black leather clothes and with no mention of the word God in the lyrics at all. The band's musical sound was also heavier, closer to classic metal. Drummer Robert Sweet said that the change of image and sound was in response to the criticism of the previous album and an attempt to leave behind their glam metal image. The album sold poorly. This was partly due to rumors in the press that Striper's music was trending towards a more mainstream sound as their Christian faith weakened. Fans wondered why they covered the 1975 Earth, Wind & Fire's Shining Star. The video for it would not be a hit on MTV the first Striper video that was not. Two other videos followed for Two Time Woman, and Lady, which generated minimal airplay. However, Many critics still considered the album to be Striper's best musical production to date. On July 20, 1991, after being signed to Hollywood Records, Striper released a greatest hits collection called Can't Stop the Rock, which featured two new songs, one of which was the Gulf War-inspired Believe. The band continued to tour until February 1992 when frontman Michael Sweet departed the band citing artistic differences and to pursue a solo career. In early 1992 Striper fulfilled some commitments in Europe as a trio with Oz Fox on lead vocals. Soon after, on May 5, they performed two shows at Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, California. They asked Dale Thompson of the Christian metal band Bride to fill in on lead vocals hoping he would join the band. It was during one of the concerts that Robert Sweet unexpectedly announced that Dale Thompson was going to be their new lead singer. This, however, was later denied by Thompson. In early 1993 the band played several more European dates as a trio with their last show on March 27, 1993 in Sporzentrum, Griffensi, Switzerland. Upon returning to the United States, the remaining members decided to go their separate ways. Michael Sweet signed with Benson Records in 1993 and released his first solo effort in 1994. It went on to sell 300,000 units, achieve five number one Christian CHR hit singles and three number one rock singles. Michael Sweet has released multiple solo records which were hugely successful in the Christian music market. Oz Fox and Tim Gaines formed their own band, 
Sindizi, and released the album He's Not Dead in 1998. Drummer Robert Sweet played in several bands, among them Blist, who released an album in 2002. Other bands include King James, Tbiality, Final Axe, and The Seventh Power. Equals Reunion and Reborn Equals, the former members of Stripe are first reunited in 1999, when Michael Sweet and Sindizi were invited to play at the Summer Rock Festival in Cabo Rojo, Puerto Rico. As an encore, Sweet joined us Fox and Tim Gaines on stage and played several Striper songs. Later, in 2000, the first Striper Expo was held in New Jersey, and for the first time in eight years the complete lineup of Striper took the stage. That same year, a concert was held in Costa Rica at which the four members played together. A second Striper Expo took place in Los Angeles in 2001. Hollywood Records asked the former members of Striper to record tracks for a new Greatest Hits compilation in 2003-7, The Best of Striper. The compilation was released with two new songs, Something, and For You, marking Striper's first new music since the early 1990s. A tour followed in support. The band played 36 shows in the United States and finished the tour in San Juan, Puerto Rico. A live album titled Seven Weeks, Live in America, 2003, was released the following year, and the concert in Puerto Rico was filmed for a live DVD produced and directed by Jack Edward Sawyers. However, that show in Puerto Rico proved to be the last for the original lineup of Striper until their 2010 reunion. Gaines and the band parted ways in 2004 before they were slated to play Disney's Night of Joy in Orlando. Michael's bassist on his previous solo tours, Tracy Ferry, replaced him. After the Night of Joy show and with newfound energy, Striper decided to go back into the studio to record a new CD, Reborn and another tour followed in the fall of 2004. Striper's next album, Reborn, was released on August 16, 2005, and was the band's first full-length CD of original material in 15 years. It was produced by Michael Sweet. The new album received a positive response from fans and critics, some of whom labeled Reborn as one of the best albums of that year. With a more modern sound incorporating aspects of alternative rock and grunge, along with fewer guitar solos, the new record updates their style while keeping the Striper identity. The record was written by Michael Sweet. The lyrics also have returned to the band's familiar themes of God and salvation. In 2006, the band released the DVD Greatest Hits, Live in Puerto Rico with music video distributors. Striper was scheduled to open for extreme thrash metal band Slayer, headlining in Mexico. A few months later, Slayer pulled out of the Mexican tour and cancelled their headline for personal reasons. Equals Murdered by Pride Equals, in November 2006, Striper announced new management. They also announced a follow-up to Reborn tentatively due in spring-summer 2007. However, that February saw lead singer Michael Sweet postponing the release of the new album two days before its recording was to begin. Sweet's wife Carl had been diagnosed with stage 4 ovarian cancer, and the new album was put on hold so that he could care for his family and ailing wife. She underwent surgery and treatment from February 14 to July 14. In April 2008, Kyle announced that her cancer had returned as of October 2007. The new album was in the mixing stage as of January 2008, and Sweet said that it should be released in July or August. Michael Sweet performed with the band Boston in 2007 and was asked to join the band as co-lead vocalist and guitarist and toured with Boston in 2008 with Styx as the opening act. On March 5, 2009, Michael Sweet's wife, Kyle, died from cancer. Murder by Pride was released on July 21, 2009, with the lead single Peace of Mind preceding it. Since late 2008, Tim Gaines has played bass in concert with Tourniquet. The band has since they added the song To Hell With The Devil to their set list to highlight Tim's involvement. Oz Fox joined Tourniquet on stage in Germany to perform the same song. Equals the covering equals. It was announced on July 13, 2010, that the covering would be the name of Striper's latest album, tentatively scheduled for release October 13 from Big Three Records Sony. The album, produced by Michael Sweet, 
is a collection of 12 cover songs from bands that inspired Striper and helped to shape the band's sound and musical identity, including past hits from Iron Maiden, Led Zeppelin, Kansas and many others. The covering also includes God, a new original recording. On September 14, 2010, it was announced that the album's first single, a cover of Black Sabbath's It Heaven and Hell, was available for download on iTunes. The album was released on February 15, 2011. Equals Second Coming, No More Hell to Pay, and Fallen Equals, the band signed a deal with Frontiers Records and released a new album on March 26 titled Second Coming. The album features 14 classic songs re-recorded as well as two new songs. Striper began work on their new all-original studio album in January 2013. The album, No More Hell to Pay, was completed on May 29, 2013 and was released on November 5, through Frontiers Records. The band released Live at the Whiskey, a CD-DVD combination recorded at the Whiskey A Go Go, in September 2014. A new album, Fallen, has been released on October 16, 2015. Music and Image During the 1980s, Striper represented the popular glam metal style of the time, characterized by highly visual performances, twin guitar solos, Michael Sweet's high-pitched, multi-octave screams and big hair. A characteristic element of the band was that all their outfits, sets, and instruments were painted in yellow and black stripes. The number of the stripes represented in various stage props and costumes increased during the show, leading up to In God We Trust. The band explained the symbolism of the stripes, a direct reference to the whiplash scourges given by Pontius Pilate to Jesus, derived from the King James Version of the Bible's Isaiah 53 5. A trademark of the band's stage act was drummer Robert Sweet's practice of turning his enormous drum kit sideways to the audience so that the crowd could see him playing. This is why Robert was more often called a visual timekeeper rather than a drummer. Apart from its ubiquitous yellow and black stripes, Striper had other distinctive trademarks. During concerts, Striper threw Bibles to the concert crowd a Euro editions of the New Testament with the band's logo stickers affixed to them. As a protest against 666 symbols popular among many heavy metal fans of the era, Striper promoted an alternative numerological symbol. Striper's trademark use of the 777 symbol subsequently became quite popular among Christian metalheads. Although the number 777 is not actually referenced by the Bible the number 7 is traditionally associated with divine perfection. Some of the band's stage sets included the crossed-out symbols of Devil, and 666. The Los Angeles Times reported in 1985 that the band gets sullen fans of Twisted Sister cheering and poking stubby one-way fingers heavenward a Euro a refutation of the double-finger devil horn salute of many metal groups. Legacy Striper is recognized as the first openly Christian heavy metal band to gain recognition in the mainstream music world. Their message of salvation has also made them popular with some elements of the media. Mark Joseph states the yellow and black attack was propelled by the group's success in Japan, which was largely due to an endorsement of the band by famed rock critic Masa Ito, the man who ruled the Japanese hard rock metal scene, who many fans looked to for his evaluation of bands. Ito had heard of Striper, gotten in touch with their manager Darren Hinton, and liked what he heard. When he gave the band a positive review in Japan's heavy metal Bible B.U.R.R.N., magazine and played the album on his radio show, Striper suddenly found themselves at the top of the metal heap in Japan with a record that was outselling Ma Paragraph Lee Kra One Quarter E, Bon Jovi, and every other metal band. This led to the band signing with CBS Sony in Japan. Striper has not been free of controversy. Many Christian critics did not approve of the group's association with a heavy metal subculture, which has often been associated with satanic imagery. Other Christian detractors viewed the band a Euro unregistered trademark s flashy costumes as incongruous with the modesty and dress often associated with sincere practitioners of devout Christianity. Televangelist Jimmy Swigart was a particularly prominent critic, likening Striper's practice of distributing the New Testament at their shows to casting pearls before swine. Swigart's condemnation may not have been a surprise, however, 
as Striper was supported by the rival Jim Backer Ministries, who were thanked on several Striper albums. A 1985 CCM magazine article by Chris Willman, who was also writing for the Los Angeles Times, stated that Striper was the target of scattered picketing, boycott threats, and righteous denunciations. For example, Concert goers were often greeted by protesters armed with bullhorns and distribution of gospel tracts. It was just like if Ozzy Osbourne was there. They gave us the same treatment, laughed Starr and Hinton. In 1990, Rolling Stone magazine reported that the band had become disillusioned with Christian music. This, combined with a notable shift in tone in the band's lyrics, led to Against the Law being banned from many Christian bookstores. The Benson Company, Striper's sole tie to the Christian market, dropped this album from distribution. Striper has sold over 10 million recordings worldwide, and it is estimated that two-thirds of their albums were bought by non-Christians. 2011 Striper won the Reader's Choice Award for Best Christian Slash Gospel Artists and Bands. Kim Jones of About.com states with 44% of the vote. Hard rock legends Striper beat out all of their competition to be named the best Christian hard rock band, bringing to mind the old adage, like a fine wine, some things just get better with age. Ian Christ, author of the heavy metal history book Sound of the Beast, the complete head-banging history of heavy metal, mentions the album To Hell with the Devil in his book as one of the landmarks of the glam metal movement. The song To Hell with the Devil appears on the Rhino Records released The Heavy Metal Box a compilation mainly of secular classic metal bands like Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, and Metallica, as well as hair bands like Twisted Sister and Poison. In popular culture, the Marvel comic series Runaways refers to Striper as being a Christian glam band in Volume 4 True Believers. UK band Half Man Half Biscuit refer to Striper in the chorus of their song Christian Rock Concert from the 1991 album McIntyre, Treadmore and Davit. In the 2009 film Whippet, Ellen Page's character Bliss distinctively wears a Striper t-shirt throughout the film, which originally belonged to her mother, Marcia Gay Harden's character, and is referred to by the daughter as the only cool thing that you own. On the Bloodhound Gang song Lift Your Head Up High on One Fierce Beer Coaster the lyric, or do you own a record by Striper, is a part of a list of reasons for doing what the title of the song suggests. In the 2013 film Pain and Gain, Dwayne Johnson's character, while at a gun shop, pretends to be doing security work for the band in order to have access to select weaponry available only to law enforcement. Members, current, Michael Sweet, lead vocals, rhythm and lead guitar, piano, Robert Sweet, drums, percussion, Tim Gaines, bass guitar, backing vocals, keyboards, piano, Oz Fox, lead and rhythm guitar. Backing vocals, lead vocals, former, Doug Aldrich, lead and rhythm guitar, backing vocals, C.C. Deville, lead and rhythm guitar, backing vocals, Scott Lane, lead and rhythm guitar, backing vocals, John Vores, bass, backing vocals, Tracy Ferry, bass guitar, backing vocals, Session, John Van Tonger and the Euro keyboards, bass, keyboards, piano, Christopher Carl a Euro Sinclair. Guitar, Billy Mayer's a Euro keyboards, Steve Crow's a Euro synclavier, Brad Cobb a Euro bass, Matt Hurick, bass, John Purcell a Euro keyboards, Jeff Scott Soto a Euro background vocals, Randy Jackson a Euro bass, Brent Jeffers a Euro drums, keyboards, Tom Werman a Euro percussion, Kenny Uranoff a Euro drums, Charles Foley a Euro keyboards, Kenny Metcalf a Euro keyboards, Timeline. Striper Tours 1984, Yellow and Black Attack Tour, 1985, Yellow and Black Attack Slash Soldiers Under Command Tour, 1986, Soldiers Under Command Tour, 1987, To Hell with the Devil Tour, 1988 to 1989, In God We Trust Tour, 1990, Against the Law Tour, 1991 to 1993, Can't Stop the Rock Tour, 2000, Striper Expo Slash Costa Rica Concerts, 2001, Striper Expo slash Cornerstone Concerts, 2003 to 2004, Seven Weeks Live in America Reunion Tour, 2005, Reborn Tour, 2006 to 2009, Various Concerts Only, 2009 to 2010.
Murder by Pride slash 25th Anniversary Tour, 2011, The Covering Tour, 2013, Second Coming Tour, 2014, No More Hell to Pay Tour. Discography The Yellow and Black Attack, Soldiers Under Command, To Hell with the Devil, In God We Trust, Against the Law, Reborn, Murder by Pride, The Covering, Second Coming, No More Hell to Pay, Fallen. References Equals further reading equals, Christ, Ian. Sound of the Beast, The Complete Headbanging History of Heavy Metal. HarperCollins. ISBN 0-380-81127-8. Christensen, Brett. Striper, Can't Stop the Rock. HM Magazine. Archived from the original on September 18, 2000. Retrieved April 30, 2007. MacDonald, Meg. Striper. In La Blanc, Michael L. Contemporary Musicians 2. Farmington Hills, Michigan, Gale Group Pages 227 a Euro 28. ISBN 0 8103 9. ISSN 1044 2197. Thompson, John J. Raised by Wolves. The Story of Christian Rock and Roll. Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, ECW Press Pages 152 a Euro 55. ISBN 1-55022-421-2. External links, official website, Striper at Metal Archives, Striper at All Music, Striper at the Internet Movie Database.